today's event is at Briley Hill at the turning centre of excellence, but they've still got the headquarters down in Bushy, which has been rebranded. Isaac, you're in charge. It's called the Solution Centre now. Tell me all about it. That's right. It's our, our Solution Centre. Uh, so that's a, a, sort of a new concept for us at Citizen Machinery uh, to set up a dedicated space uh, and a dedicated team of engineers uh, to focus on turnkey solutions and project work, uh, including things like automation projects. Okay, so yeah, we're going to talk about this fantastic project in, in a minute. So essentially, before people might phone up and say, an application engineer say, we need to make this part, you, you would help them out. Yeah, sure, sure. So this is, uh, that, again, that side of the business is still there. We're still doing normal after sales stuff, delivering machine, come and help you program it. Uh, but for those customers who, who want the pain completely taken away, uh, you know, we'll do the entire thing off-site uh, in the most efficient way possible with all the kit around us uh, and crucially not in someone's factory under their feet. Yeah, so essentially they could keep their spindles turning whilst you're coming up with a solution, ultimately to help them win more business. That's it, that's exactly it. It will do something that's, that's new for them, that's going to give them new capabilities that you really can't develop in a factory on site. Brilliant. Oh, is it I'm going to stop you there because I think what we need to do is actually speak to one of the customers you provided a solution to and find out more about this fantastic array. Thank you very much. Warren, this is one of the first solutions out of the solution center. What have we got here? What we've got here is an innovative way of manufacturing some castings that we need to manufacture in huge volumes and in a, in a repetitive way. Okay. Are you already making these parts or is it a new part and you're trying to win the business? We are already making the components, but to secure a new contract to ensure continuity of supply, we needed to go out to market to actually research a new innovative way of making these components efficiently. Right, so make it, yeah, making you more cost effective, making sure that contract is well. In simple terms then, you've got well, the robot arm here, the BNA machine behind it, 42, and then at the other end you'll have the parts catchers, which aren't on it yet, but if you could just talk me through the process, please. The process is remarkably simple, but in action, from the start to the end, there's an awful lot going on. Right. So what we've actually invested in is a stacking system for the castings to be put on, 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 on the stations, the robot to pick up the castings, present those to the machine, the machine to machine them, and then out onto the conveyor belt at the end and finish right. parts. Okay. But with the robot arm, that's not a normal array because normally I'd expect the robot arm to be loading in through the door. So why have you gone, what, what's happened here? What's happened here is that we presented uh, Citizen with the challenge and the vision that we had of utilizing an industrial robot. They had the BNA machine tool, which they've designed to be used with robots. But interestingly, the aperture for this application is actually on the side of the machine. Right, so why have they done that? Does that mean, mean you could keep machining while the robot's actually loading? Absolutely. Right. So once the actual part is presented inside the machine, the robot goes back to collect the next one and right. there is no loss in cycle time at all. Oh, right, okay, because normally, yeah, you'd expect door open, machine loading, etc. This, machining all the time. Correct. The actual door, as we traditionally know it, yeah. doesn't open or close. Right, okay. As we know, Milano sell a whole range of machines. You can go triple turret, triple Y-axis, twin spindle. But this machine is a BNA 42 DHY. It's only twin spindle, twin turret. Why have you gone this route? This is what attracted us to Citizen Machinery Solutions. They listened to what we were trying to achieve and focused on the components that we needed to machine. And we didn't need the complexity of multi-axes and turrets. This machine actually delivers everything that we require. That's it, nice and simple. So providing that perfect solution to keep you efficient. Correct. In terms of machining the component, how long are you looking to actually run the machine for? The actual stacking system and solution that we've actually bought from Citizen Machinery will enable us to actually run this unmanned for 12 hours. 12 hours. Okay. And that means running continuously, because as we said earlier, the, mach the machine's actually loading while still actually machining the component. Correct. Again, it goes back to the actual solution that Citizen Machinery have offered, right. and it's the end-to-end -end solution, literally the starting point of the stacking system, yep. down to where do the finished parts go. And Citizen Machinery have actually provided the solution on every single step of that journey.